Hello, grade fours. Hi, it's Miss Amanda. Hello, tiny saints. Hi, kids. Hello. Hey, everyone. You guys are so loved and so missed. Hi, everybody. Hello, everyone. Hi, kids. It's Penny. Hi. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, Hi friends. Hey, everybody. Hi, it's Miss Jessie. Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Miss Delane here. Hello. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Engage Kids. Happy Sunday, Tiny Saints. Hi, friends. I really miss seeing you at Sunday School each week, and we can't wait to get back to Sunday School. Um, but we wanted you to know that we miss you, and um, we're praying for you, and we love you. See you soon. Hi, kids. Just want to say that we miss you so much, and we miss sharing all the laughs with you, and we love you guys. Hi. Hey, Tiny Saints friends. I'm Miss Shannon. And I'm Pastor DeAndre. And I hope you're doing really well. We're so glad that you're here today for Tiny Saints. Today we're going to discover that Jesus' power takes action. By that, I mean action on our parts. Oh yeah. To get started, let's talk about God sightings. How did you see God at work this week? How about you, DeAndre? How did you see God at work this week? Mm -hmm. I think, hmm, for me, we were doing VBS this week and filming, and that was really hard for me because I never did VBS before. So I needed God's help in that. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Now it's your turn. Pause the video and give each person a chance to share a God sighting. And then grab a sheet of paper and a pen and a Bible if you want to follow along with us today. Those are the only supplies you'll need. Thanks for sharing. I love watching for God. And I also love exploring God's amazing word with you. Today's Bible story comes from the book of John. Chapter 5. So I'll give you guys a few minutes. Grab your Bibles. Maybe ask your mom where the Bible is. And I'll wait for you guys to go to John chapter 5. Sweet. So John chapter 5, verse 1. You guys can follow the story along with me. We go to 1 to 9. This story begins in Jerusalem. And so in Jerusalem, there's this big pool called Bethesda. And in it, there's a lot of sick people laying around the pool. Because here's the thing. Back in those days, they believed that the Spirit of God was in the pool when it was bubbling. And so when the pool began to bubble, people would race to the pool, and the first person that gets in the pool would be healed. That's so cool. Right? And the Bible says that there were some blind people and people that can't walk, and there were paralyzed people there too. So all the sick people would be waiting and waiting and waiting there for the pool to bubble. So one day, Jesus was walking by a man he saw laying there. And Jesus is God, so he knew that the man was sick for 38 years. It's a long time. It's a long time to be sick. Yeah, and he couldn't walk. And Jesus asked the man, would you like to be well? And reading that, I was like, of course you just wanted to be well. But this is the crazy part. The man replied, I can't. That's crazy. And he said, I can't. Sir, I have got no one to put me inside the pool. And he said, everyone goes to the pool and gets to the pool way, way faster than I do. So when Jesus asked the man if he wanted to be healed, instead of saying yes, the man said, I can't. I know. But thankfully, Jesus didn't leave him there. And he said, get up, pick up your mat, and walk. And instantly, the man was healed. So cool. Why don't we try it, my friends? Why don't you get on the ground and pretend that you can't walk? And so the man picked up the mat and began to walk. Jesus healed him. But the man had to take action too. So now you can pretend that you can walk and get up and be joyful. Yeah, and see, now you can walk too. But you have to take action first. In a second, we want you guys to walk around and talk about some things that you can do during this difficult time. For me, I can call a friend. So pause the video and then walk around and talk about something that you can do during this time. I bet you guys came up with some great ideas. Way to go, guys. Yeah. 
Sometimes it's easy for us to make excuses when God asks us to do things. Maybe you're thinking, oh, I'm just too shy, or maybe I'm just too young. But Jesus calls us to take action. And with his power and his help, there is plenty of ways that we can take action right now. Just like we're learning today, Jesus' power takes action. Let's talk about that for a minute. What might Jesus be calling your family to do for other people right now? How can you take action instead of saying, I can't? Grab your paper and pen and have someone take notes while you make a plan. Maybe you could make a meal for someone or make an encouraging sign or make sidewalk chalk that's encouraging people in your neighborhood. I'm sure you'll come up with some great ideas. Pause the video and make a plan right now. Thanks for your creative ideas. Way to go. Jesus' power takes action. And now you've come up with a plan to take action and change those I can'ts into I can's. So good. Let's see another way we can turn the I can'ts into I can's. We're gonna try to balance on one foot. Everybody see how long you can balance on one foot while looking all around the room. Don't stop turning your head. Whoa. It's hard, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> how did that make you feel, DeAndre? It made me feel like I'm not very good at balancing. But let me show you a little sciencey fun trick to balance better. Pick something at eye level that you can focus on. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now hold on to your earlobe with your other hand. Oh. Now see how long you can hold it now. Oh my goodness. It's working. Is it better? Yeah. Yeah. So you can stay balanced for a lot longer now. By focusing on one thing, it's easier to balance. That reminds me about how focusing on Jesus can help us stand strong. That's so good. Yeah, and our ears help us provide balance. So holding your ear is a neat trick to help you balance. Huh. That reminds me to listen for what Jesus is asking me to do. We just turned our I can'ts into I can. Yeah, we did. Let's celebrate with a song about serving God enthusiastically. song. Thanks for singing. Before we close, let's play a quick game to help us remember that Jesus' power takes action. Get ready because this is an action-packed game. I'm excited. Remember how in our Bible story, the first person into the pool would be healed? In this game, I'll cut an object and you will try to be the first person in your family to touch that object. Are you ready? All right, Jandre, go find a pillow, everyone. Great. Now find something electronic. Now go to a wall. Now touch a light switch. Find a spoon. Spoon. 
Now find a water faucet. <gasps> How fun was that? It was pretty fun. Yeah, way to play, guys. Good job. In our game, the goal was to be the first person to touch an object. The last object was water. That reminds me of how in our Bible story, the sick man wanted to be the first person into the pool, but he said he couldn't. Pause the video while you talk about this question. This week, how can you encourage each other to have an I can attitude instead of an I can't attitude? Jesus' power takes action. We can always turn to Jesus for help when we're feeling like I can't. His power will help us take action and encourage each other to stay positive and do good things for him. And those good things can start right here in your own family. Let's close by thinking of ways your family members have taken action for each other. Maybe you helped your mom make dinner, or maybe you helped your brother um, clean his room, or maybe you helped your dad with yard work. Go around your family and each person say at least one way that a family member has taken action recently. Pause the video while you thank God for each person's actions. I'm so glad that Jesus' power takes action and that Jesus is always there to help us. Let's pray, DeAndre. Yeah. Heavenly Father, thank you that we can come together as a church, as a family. Even though we are all separated, we are all under the same house of the Lord. Thank you, dear Jesus, because you give us a way and you help us with your power. Um, give us an opportunity to have an action and take action. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. And we pray. Amen. Amen. Now it's time to add a picture to your thankful journal. This week, draw a picture of something you're thankful that you can do right now. But to put today's date on the picture so that you can look back at your journal later. You can draw that when our video is over. Thanks for joining us, guys. Make sure you guys check out our drive-in service this week. Ask your parents to register. It's going to be a great time. So this week, remember to look for God sightings. When you find a God sighting, put it in your journal and draw a picture or write it down. I can't wait for you to share your God sightings with us next week. See you then. And remember, Jesus' power takes action. See ya.